Hey y'all, getting on the beach, getting ready to do a reading for y'all. I'm not perfect, but I'm original. I got my swimsuit underneath there. And then there goes my daughter. There goes one other daughter. And the other one is back that way. But I'm gonna do a quick reading because I know I owe y'all a weekend reading. And I forgot, bear with me. How this works. So this is gonna be for all signs. Hopefully everybody is doing good and y'all can hear me. All right, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Beach energy reading. <laughs> so all signs, y'all hear the water all signs for the collective make sure you like subscribe comment as well as share again if you're new to my channel welcome if y'all have been here for a while thank you for supporting me make sure all the cards is upright okay let's see what's gonna pop out on the beach we're at laguna beach right now Okay, Queen of Coins, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo energy. So if you were Earth sign, you could be in your bag. You could be feeling the abundance, the prosperity as far as when it comes to your career, your job, your home life, even with the confidence within yourself. So there's definitely an earth sign if you're an earth sign woman and you're watching this or if you're a man that's involved with an earth sign woman you seeing that this earth sign woman is on her shit okay hmm. we got the five the seven of swords so there could have been some deception and then we got the five of cups regret so somebody could have been crying over spilled milk it could be somebody is crying over you right with this five of swords you sitting here in your bag you see how she got this crocodile and even though this is a villain's energy i'm just still in this crocodile i feel like this is this crocodile whoever this is as far as this villain energy right this five of cups is crying over spilled milk so there could have been a missed opportunity when it comes to a partnership you as a if this is if you're not a queen of coins or whoever this is this could have been also a mother figure if it's not a mother figure for you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, it could be a mother figure for, like I said, not for you, it could be for your masculine. Whose goggles is right there? Those are my days. Okay. Five of Cups. Regrets. Spilled milk. Backstabbing, it looks like it could have been done. It could have been an earth sign that backstabbed you. It was not an earth sign but it looks like it has to do with some type of contract or a lease got the five of swords coming out reverse so the deception so let's say if it was a partnership so let's say if you are the queen of coins and there was somebody that deceived you when it comes to a contract a partnership if this was a lease if it was a car note whatever the case may be somebody could have been crying over a spilled missed opportunity when it comes to some type of form of paperwork but this also represents let's say if this is just you this queen of coins and you over here in your bag and you ain't looking and seeing and noticing anybody else this could be somebody that broke their spiritual contract with you that could be trying to come back after they realize you know after they had some drinks and they realize and that damn they fucked up when it comes to you now this person could be wanting to come back after the deception has been done okay yeah we got the knight of wands and then we got the star they seeing you as a star so at night time at at late at night kiss you in the morning late at night yeah that's that energy so when the stars come out that's when this person thinks about you or this is when you take action the most so you have aries leo as well as sagittarius here and then you have aquarius so you could so so far the energies that we have is earth air and fire aquarius aries leo as well as sagittarius and capricorn taurus as well as virgo 
So this masculine or this feminine could be realizing that they did not do right by you when it comes to y'all's contract. Now they're crying over spilled milk. They think about you more at nighttime. The alcohol, you know, the alcohol is drugs. You know, a sober man's thoughts is a, a drunk man's thoughts is a sober man's, a drunk man's words is a sober man's thoughts. So that could be something that could be going on. And this could be when this masculine wakes up in the morning, they could come to realization that, you know, they've been missing out on opportunities with you because they've been choosing people that have been just backstabbing them. Now they could have left the backstabber is what I'm getting from this. But this person does see you as a star. They look like they're coming in with some fast communication, wanting to take action in a certain situation. Look, she said the next next to me back then hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. This is this. Now I'm hot. Hoes all on me because I'm the star. You got the ace of swords coming in with the truth. So like I told you, this person's gonna be coming in with the truth, the sober man's uh, uh thoughts, right? A drunk man's words, a sober man's thoughts. You got Aquarius, Libra as well as Gemini energy here. And then we have energy as far as Capricorn being reversed. Okay, so somebody could end the relationship with the Capricorn could be coming in and telling you about a Capricorn. If it's not a Capricorn, they could be letting go of, you know, addictions, lust, pride, ego, you know, bad ways when it comes to their ego, their shadow side, their dark side, dark night of the soul, you know, toxic things. That's what this person could be letting go of, you know, control, pride, right? Or addictions. Addictions could have been something, like I said, drugs, alcohol, because you got this five of cups here, you know, he getting tipsy over here. So somebody could be cutting it off. And like I told you, it could have been a Capricorn. This Capricorn could have been over here doing you bad. Like I told you, somebody did not abide by your contract as a divine feminine or this divine masculine and this person is seeing the truth about this person mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all you got the knight of coins you got capricorn Taurus, as well as virgo so somebody coming in fast with an opportunity slow moving night moving in snail energy but again this is long term it represents longevity like i said money getting your money looking good you in your bag you ain't paying nobody no mind right like nighttime again somebody could be traveling towards you nighttime you got the wheel of fortune so fire aries wheels with the sagittarius new beginnings of prosperity somebody taking action on when it comes to future things and then you have the five of coins feeling like you were left out so i feel like this capricorn could have left either this masculine if this is the knight of wands or this king i mean knight of coins somebody could have left this capricorn woman could have left a earth sign man or a fire sign man or an air sign man an aquarius or a uh, libra or a gemini or it could be vice versa but somebody definitely like i told you is feeling feeling like feeling left out in a certain situation like i told you if this masculine chose a capricorn over you because capricorn is the only energy that's reversed they're realizing this person backstabbed them they could have chosen earth sign over a fire sign if it's two different masculines it could have been a fire sign man or an earth sign man or an air sign man and she chose the other one over the other one and they could be seeing the deception that this woman or this man has done, you know, in, in at nighttime is what I'm getting from this. So. So all signs for the collective, all signs for the collective. Ace of Cups, Cancer Pisces as well as Scorpio. And then the Ace of Coins. So you have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Coins. So somebody's definitely coming in and, uh, with an opportunity. You got Cancer Pisces as well as Scorpio. You got Capricorn Taurus as well as Virgo. And then you have this Ace of Swords. So the ancestors is lighting the fire underneath somebody's ass to make them take action mental-wise, verbally-wise, and love-wise, and financial-wise as far as when it comes to this, okay? Only Ace that you're missing is the Ace of Swords. I mean, the Ace of Wands. And that's that's okay you got three aces here three persons aces that's all upright so this mass is coming with love money and a commitment a verbal commitment a heart commitment and financial commitment knight of wands could be the passion the love again they come in if you are the queen of wands the queen of coins they come in and come get you 
like I said, uh, they see you as the star. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the star. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Coins. Okay. And when it comes to this energy, only energy that's reversed is this Capricorn energy. So there could definitely be an ending to a Capricorn relationship. So somebody is coming in giving you a commitment towards energy here. They see you as a star. So I'm going to put these to the side. We're done with this deck. So somebody definitely is coming and giving you a love offer after they cut off a contract with somebody else. It could have been the vice versa. This Capricorn woman especially could have cut it off with a earth sign man or a fire sign man or Aquarius or even a Taurus, right? But the looks like the, if anybody is getting cut off, it could definitely be a Capricorn or Capricorn is the one that's doing the cutoff. So, and I am going to get this other deck, and then we're going to be ending this reading, so make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. Hopefully, again, y'all can hear me. You can hear me, you can hear me, you can hear me. Okay, what? <laughs> My daughter is over here laughing at me. She's like, okay, they can hear you. You know, we don't know until after I finish this video. Cause we ain't on live, it's pre-recorded. So, I just wanted to do a quick 15 minute video. Make sure all the cards is flipped, okay. So all signs for the collective, weekend reading for the collective, all signs for the collective, weekend reading for the collective. Well, that was wanting to fall out that way. So we're gonna see, falling in love. So somebody feels like they're falling in love or you doing the falling in love or they're falling in love. Family and friends could have been an option a reason or your family and friends could have been in something that causes masculine or feminine not to move towards you like i said if they were involved with family and friends that were at lower negative energies that was trying to hold on to them again capricorn energy does not necessarily could have just been lower negative people wolves and sheep clothing people that's keeping you or your masculine or feminine and toxic energies as far as when it comes to addictions traits and ways okay we have telepathic energy so you and this masculine is communicating telepathically and then we have emotional support. So again, some of y'all could have been following it, trying to, how can I say this? Was hoping that family and friends would be your emotional support. And it looks like that that's possibly not a situation when it comes to you, the viewer that's watching this video, right? Some of y'all possibly do have good family and friends that are good emotional support, but some of y'all possibly are not. And you're realizing that emotional support is within your divine masculine, divine feminine, and y'all having these two brain waves that only you and this person is hearing in your head and then you know as well as um visions if you are getting visions too okay so it says falling in love it says the feeling of falling in love is one of a kind knowing that it is safe for you to be in love and then we have family and friends the support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection emotional support it says now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings so like i said somebody's family and friends could have you know says too much when it comes to y'all's relationship between you and this masculine and feminine like i said the wrong ones that's on the wrong side of the fence when it comes to the ones that are not emotionally supporting this connection again this masculine or this feminine could have saw the, these individuals as toxic you know blood relatives and friends that are toxic addictions and bonded by you know by soul and spirit journeys and then we have telepathic waves so you and this masculine or this feminine is hearing each other through mind through sound you know visions and so on so it says pay attention to the telepathic messages that you are be that are being sent to you and received at this time so make sure you pay attention to the messages that you get and then one more card and then we're going to be ending this reading it flipped out it's magnetic soul so it says your sacred soul are in instantly drawn towards each other so again telepathic waves Again, y'all on that suki suki energy, you you having, you know, telepathic waves, you hear his thoughts, he hears your thoughts, y'all communicate. Like I said, that's a magnetic connection that you 
you know, an emotional support that you have, like no other with your divine feminine, divine masculine, that you don't have connections with as far as family and friends. And this is also possibly another way that this masculine or feminine is realizing that they are falling in love with you um, through the telepathic communication that you and him are receiving. So y'all, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share this video. Again, let's see if I can switch it. We out here on the beach. Beach sex.